Hey guys, cool. By the way, back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're here with Ass Class Season 2, Episode 1, which means full length, which is uh, you can watch along with us for the yes. entire reaction. Normally, that's something available only to patrons. Yeah, I can't watch that. But for season premiere, everybody, everybody, has a to experience. You can. Eric. I think it's down there below, below the video. Just oh. click the link and check it out. Cool. Yeah. What happened last time at the end of the season or the whole season? <sighs> World's in danger. Yep. Alien's gonna kill it, but yep. he's not an alien because he was born and bred here or something. Yep. He's so there's terrestrial. A, so there's a class that is looked down upon and treated like. I don't know. Second class citizens? Yeah. By design. design. Right? <clears throat> By design. Yes. And to they scare are, the rest into achieving. And they're trained to be assassins to kill this not an alien dude. Who is like the best teacher there's ever been. He's yeah, really he's helping all of them. Yeah. 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 While also threatening everyone they love, including themselves. And killing is wrong. But, but he's assassins. teaching them too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, maybe we'll get into that in a second term. Killing in anger is wrong. Yeah. Right? There's some necessary killings. Like, ha! Ha! I think we had our first assassination in the assassination classroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, had, we had our first assassination, yeah. Yeah. Have we had anyone else been assassinated ever? I assume he's dead. I mean, maybe not. Maybe he's just shot. I don't sure. know how dark this show's going to go. Yeah. I also don't it know just came the, out of nowhere. I'm also not sure if the Reaper was after him. Or if what? he was the target and he was defending himself. Yeah. Or if they were both after the same target, so he was stopping the opposition. He is the Reaper, right? Isn't that his nickname? The Russian guy? Yeah. No. no. There is, I think the idea the, that there is a... The Reaper is a no-one-knows-who-he-is assassin kind of guy. So I think he was killed by the Reaper, which is why he said about, like... Gotcha. Uh, what was it? He didn't say don't fear the Reaper, but he said... Yeah. Something. The name of the Reaper. Something, something. Yeah. He also said something about, like... Uh, from the day you were born, I've been beside you, or something yeah. like that. Which I'm like, what? Is that more of a literal kind of thing? Is that a figurative, like, meaning of some sort? Or, I imagine it's figurative. You know? Yeah, I would or say, is it like, like, someone who's, like, really close to that guy, and does that mean also close to Yelovich and stuff? I don't know. I, I took it to mean, like, he's, like, quoting or taking on, like, the... The persona of death. He's saying, like, as soon as you were born, like, you had one foot in the grave. Kind yeah, of your time has been marked. Yeah. Kind mm. of thing. Yeah, that seemed very out of place with the rest of the episode, which is like romance, sure, happy and cheerful. Last day of summer. Carnival. Yeah, festival. We, we had the matchmaking, which I thought, like, all right, yeah, good episode. And then it just, I was like, oh no, that was actually quicker than I thought it was. It looked at time. I'm like, oh, we have, like, another half. Yeah. Away. Which Duty could, comes first. Could set up some stuff with maybe Mr. Karasuma and Yelovich, or maybe not. But yeah, his idea was Duty coming first, and then he's like, wait, was she trying a new sedu seduction technique? <laughs> I was like, that was pretty good. <laughs> she was like testing it on me. Yeah. I should feel honored. Which, which is funny, though, too, if he was like, that did have some seductiveness to it, and it was kind of working, but then yeah. she was like, oh, what am I doing? You know, like... <laughs> but yeah, I think when she's so obvious... He like he turns it off because he thinks that's like her. That's trying. her assassination technique. Like yeah. He's, yeah. Whenever he sees it, he doesn't see it it's, as like a like red-blooded man. He sees like... it as a fellow assassin, kind of being like, "Yeah, good, good moves." Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think subtle was the better way to go, but mm -hmm. he still didn't get it. Sure. Too All subtle right. though can be bad. Like denser like than a neutron star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes you got to find the the Goldilocks zone of like not. So seductive that you could you could catch every man's attention on the street, mm -hmm. but not so subtle that a man who is like him yep. won't see it. <laughs> we also just kind of briefly met uh, Nagisa's dad. Yeah. yeah, and learned about how the the parents are separated. Mm -hmm. Voiced by Matthew Mercer. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't familiar with the. Um... The manga author they referenced. The horror manga author. So I was gonna look him up. That I think he dressed up as. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had like a standee of him, but maybe yeah. I did love that he was like trying to scare the students, and then when he comes back, he's the freezing himself out. Scene. 
Oh, the, that one girl and all the others just start. I don't even know. They were really trying. He has no eyes. He's like he just his hair is covering his face. He's just freaking out in his own head. Got too into the the story he was telling, and he yeah, just started sure. freaking himself out. You know, he believed himself. Yeah, <laughs> like you're trying to convince your friends that you saw aliens and stuff like that, and then that, and then later on you're laying in bed. You're like, they're aliens. What if I did? Yeah. <laughs> are, there, are there really aliens? I don't know. I like the Attack on Titan reference. It was that. Yeah, there was. was uh, One Piece video game in this. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of manga and anime references. Oh, I missed the One Piece thing. Yeah, on the Nintendo DS. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, is that what he was playing? Was that? I didn't even notice I, that. I, I just saw Luffy. That's funny. <clears throat> and they had like a, basically a Wii console there mm -hmm. too. So mm -hmm. it's like a DS, but it's not called a DS. And then the Wii, but it was called like Game System or Game something or whatever. So that was just a little nods towards things. I kind of like figured, that Russian guy. I said that he's dead. Yeah. yeah. I figure that Reaper is going to be coming after Kuro Sensei. Like I, I mean, I would assume that if you can't kill this guy, especially if it's getting closer and closer to the deadline, you might want to get who's the best. It's either that or Akira has hired him to kill Nagisa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can he afford him? I don't, I don't know. know. He's, his life is ruined, right? I just thought it might be fun to see, like, like, if Nagisa is, in some ways, the mentee of him, like, seeing him against this assassin, yeah. like, see how they play out against one another. He kind of reminded me of Karma, with the red hair and just the, the way he was standing, yeah, the way he was standing and, and his posture and everything. I, I thought of the, uh, the dean and his son in terms of, like, a look, oh. but... I don't know. It just the only things that I saw with color in that shot were the Russian guy's eyes, mm -hmm. which have like the red irises, and then the, the blood. blood. And then I, I thought in this shot in particular, it was more red. It's so muted; it's so hard to tell. Yeah, but it's not dark, right? Yeah, it's is not it, dark. It's at least not like black, like no, the Russian's yeah. hair. And the voice actor doesn't ring a bell. Like that doesn't sound like the principal. No way deeper voice but does the principal have like another son I mean like like an older son that's already graduated <laughs> I don't know I mean it doesn't have to be related to the principal that could be too coincidental yeah sure. I mean Karma has red hair too right yeah I don't think he's related maybe, maybe Karma's he's, older brother maybe he's like the the perfect form of like uh Nagisa Koro Sensei and Ituna Maybe he's like oh another the perfect one of those. human because he like just went like this, and then like a hole was in the the Russian guy's chest. Sure, he didn't like pull out a gun and shoot him. Hmm. Not that we saw, but sure. Or someone else, I suppose, could have shot him from. So you could like else. just draw from down here. Like right? you're back up here with a sniper rifle, and I look at Eric, and I'm just like, <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? And then bam, because Calvin's up here with the he, oh shoot him. Sure. What was that one movie with uh, the the actor who plays? Captain America, where he was like sitting in, a, in an office chair and he was Red like, Brown? No. Oh. Chris Evans. Chris uh, Evans, yeah. Where he was like, <laughs> and then somebody from like the other building shot the window and then shot the guy. And I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what it's later. called, the, but a situation like that. Right? Winter Soldier? So uh, it's been such a long time since we saw that kind of like vision of Koro Sensei and that woman and yeah. uh, the idea of like a promise being made or whatever. But like as the show has gone on, it really feels like Koro Sensei. Obviously, he cares about the kids, but also in this one with the idea of like, well, kids should be you know having young love. Like it's almost as if he, as if he's living a little vicariously. Yeah. Through them. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a bad example because there's a lot of baggage. But like Michael Jackson would invite kids to his house for Neverland, right? To give them a childhood that he didn't have because of the way he was raised. Like, I wonder if there's an element to that uh, there. I, but, I, again, there's that huge question mark of, like, what about the lady and all that stuff and why he's doing this in the first place. But I, I definitely got the feeling of, well, if I'm thinking about summer vacation uh, and all the tropes that come with it, then young love would be one of them. Why aren't these kids in love, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know if he wants, because, like, that's what he thinks kids should do, so he wants yeah. the best experience for the kids. Is it vicarious? Is it just for the novel because he needs money? Could be yeah. those things. It could be those things. It could teacher, be a mixture of everything. Teacher too. pay's not great. 
I yeah. don't know how it is in Japan. But. Uh, well, I think it's one of the things that they were saying before, right? And that's why, like, his snacks and stuff he yeah, had, so we, he was, like, yeah. Yeah. really rationing things that he had. And... Like, they are in the best school in the country, but maybe the class E teacher sure. would be great. But he's, yeah, he's in the worst yeah. class. Or he just has that. a shitty deal because of the deal. Well, sure. that, and also he's really bad with money. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he just spends it all in, like, the first week, and then he doesn't have any for the rest of the month. Like they they said that like he's well really and he has spent spending. money on class E too like the school's not fronting for like the pool yeah. and whatever else he made the athletic facilities so they don't have to travel back and forth like I, I wonder if you know the the glimpse we get of Nagasa <clears throat> with their dad and the broken home are we getting any type of glimpse and like I don't know he's trying to provide like a better childhood for these kids. Well, sure. And maybe that's part of the promise. I don't know. That's something I was thinking about. Yeah. Like, why these kids? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And the whole show and setup is based upon it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have... Maybe the woman that was dying at the beginning of the show was, like, the principal's wife, and she didn't agree with his, mm. like, his system. Yeah. From, like, a... Like one professional to another, but she couldn't do anything about it. Like yeah. it's an institution, but like it, it's such an institution. Her legacy is like the only way to change. prove this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so could you th- like go through the moon? Yeah. Okay, I got a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think this is like I think we just have two seasons of the whole show. I believe right? so. Yeah. So maybe all hmm. these questions will be answered. And... It sounds about right because it feels like we had like half of a school year yeah. and now we're going into the second half of the school mm-hmm. year, year kind of thing yeah. so by the time we get back around it should be March again and yeah. so we gotta kill him by the end of the season yeah things so. are only gonna ramp up from here I hope we do but I also I hope we don't yeah I'm very intrigued uh, how I'm gonna feel about whatever happens agreed thank you guys for watching our reaction to Assassinates in Classroom once again if you liked full length which you can check out down in the description below you can check that out for everything that we're doing over at patreon.com slash blind wave. Also watch the next four reactions to this as well. Thanks guys.